What up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the Maestro of the White Trash Trailer Park here. Just on a follow-up video for the uh, Eliza Blue, Blue, Sipes, Cuts, Nose, Morthland. In fact, let's start there. She denies being the daughter of Richard Morthland, the conservative politician from the farm heartlands of America. And her own family has now come forward and been like, oh, you're denying this picture right here with Richard Morthland, your father, and you right here, your daughter, Eliza Morthland, your birth name. Stop it, Mom and Dad. You're ruining everything. Ah. So she she's changing her story up a bit. The more digging you do, the more it, you, you realize every time somebody's asked, so you're a victim of human trafficking. That's what you've said. Those are the words that left your mouth, that you've tweeted. And... She just gets very offensive. Oh, don't ever ask a survivor about their trauma. Well, okay. But when you swindled millions of dollars and the Tesla company is backing you and Tim Pool has you on his podcast and conservative media is swallowing you up as their new darling, you might want to talk about it. So she claims she went to L.A. in 1998 got swept up in the human trafficking kid like that means kidnapping folks oh, sorry this thing's itchy uh got kidnapped went back home for a minute uh got, went back and found her kidnappers yes that's her story she said she was sold for eight hundred dollars escaped came back and said hey wait i'm ready to be trafficked again well it just turns out no we all know now she was busy all those years in L.A., back and forth. She was signing up for American Idol, dating games, music videos, and video vixens, which is only fans, but, you know, in the DVD era. And Steve Harvey show, you name it. Talking about this crap. This woman has been seeking fame her whole life. And just in 2017, the Me Too movement was taken off. And she said... She saw an opportunity. She's a good opportunist. I got to give her that. She knows how to spot it, right? And she jumps on and says, hey, oh, oh, yeah, I was trafficked. You seen that movie Taken, right? We've all seen that. That was me. That was me. And I survived. Oh, make me a celebrity. And so far, it's worked, all right? At least Tim Pool and Elon Musk fell for it. Elon Musk hasn't said anything, but it's pretty obvious. He has cut ties, quit following her. Not giving her any more free rides, not giving her, literally, you know, probably not getting any more Teslas, Eliza. But Tim Pool, Tim Pool tried to push the boat. Oh, I had a guest coming on my show. We were going to talk about it, but he's going to, that guy's made it very clear. That was scheduled a month ago, bro. Come on, Tim. I know you're not going to see this. I'm too small. You guys can help with that. If you've made it this far, hitting the subscribe button costs you nothing, but it helps me out. Anyway. Moving on, Tim just say, uh, tried to pass the buck off. It's not, come on, Tim. Come on. It, she fool. Elon Musk is the most brilliant son of a B. You got to watch my language. Eliza Blue, anybody talks about it's hot, right? At least you get kicked off a uh, twatter for it. So she fooled the most brilliant man alive today. There's no shame in saying, hey, she fooled me too. Come on, Tim. I want to hear your opinion. But anyway, it gets worse. It gets worse. Not only has her own family come forward and said, yes, Richard Morthland is your father, just because you've changed your names 17 times since leaving home. Mm. Oh, excuse me. She, not only that, but now her uh, friends have come forward. And these friends didn't even ask to be anonymous. They are glad to speak out. One of them said, because apparently Eliza told the story, you know, growing up in the ghetto, man, we slept on the floor, bullets passing through the windows and stuff. Man, it was so horrible. Well, <clears throat> turns out, no, during those years, her roommate said we lived in the top 1% of Chicago, all rich, white neighborhood. Eliza, quote, only slept on the floor because our floor pillows were so big and comfortable. <laughs> yeah. uh, but worse. What's even better, and I love this, uh, is 
she says, uh, her one another friend came forward, said, yeah, she was proudly working as an escort. Between music videos, she was in Vixen videos and game show, blah, blah, blah. She was a volunteer escort. Now, she says, oh, no, no, I wasn't volunteer. Oh, boy, you know, I was, I was trafficked. Uh-huh, you know, I had to escape. I definitely wasn't a volunteer. Mm. But her friend has come forward and said, she asked me in front of my husband to join their escort service because I can make a lot of money. Can you imagine that, guys? If I got any guys watching this, imagine that. You're out with your girl, your wife. All right, somebody said I do. Someone who, if they leave you, takes this ring off, gets 50 cents of every dollar you're ever going to make for the rest of your life. And the, and her girlfriend, right in front of you, wherever you met for dinner, drinks, wherever they were, says, you know, I'm hooking and I'm making some good money. You should join me. So not only was she there by her own free will, according to actual witnesses, she was a recruiter for the pimps, trying to get other girls to join them. This is the woman who fooled the world and said, oh, I'm a survivor of trafficking and I help other survivors. No, no, you don't, Eliza. You try to get other girls to be hookers with you. Yes, and that is the full story, ladies and gentlemen. And Elon has cut ties and, I mean, is it over for her? Who knows? At least this jig. I mean, she's changed her name 85 times before. That should be a red flag to anyone, Tim. <clears throat> but uh, who knows? In this culture, guys, this is what happens, right? These last few years, we have put anyone claiming to be a victim on a pedestal. And I understand it. You know, several years ago, again, I've mentioned I wasn't just a Bernie voter. I was a volunteer for his campaign. I went around trying to talk to other voters to persuade them. The, the same way Eliza spent her time trying to get other women, even married ones, to become hookers with her. Right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I couldn't help it. But, uh, you know, when I gave in, I was like, man, if people would ask me for money, and I was like, man, am I, do I really believe in what I'm saying? And I... Uh, I gave him money, guys. I did. And I got used several times, and I hate to use this word because it gets so overword, uh, over, overword, overused. Sociopath. Sociopath, narcissist, empath. People using these words, they have no idea what they mean, right? But an actual sociopath, and if you don't believe me, ask a psychologist. Look up psychology today. Pick up a book on psychology at your local library on sociopaths, and one thing you'll find that they all have in common is they want your pity. That's right. That's it. The sociopath is incapable of empathy or sympathy, but they know regular people have it, and it's their weapon. It's their weapon against you, and they'll use it anytime they can. They're always Think back through your life, all right? Ex-girlfriends, boyfriends, for just people in general. All your friends, people that were victims. Every time you talk to them, right? Oh, you know, I'm late on the rent. Oh, gee, I, I had Christmas presents for everyone, but then my car got broken into. My car's broke down. Da 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 da. da. Every time you talk to them, boy, life is terrible, and they could sure use a handout. That's a sociopath, guys. I know you don't want to think that. You think, no, they're just hard up. Nobody's that hard up. And that, it took me a long time. I'm 37. It took me a long <laughs> Until I was 34 or 35 to realize it. And. Mm, that is. Uh, and as long as our culture today keeps putting that. We're going to see more Eliza Blues before this is over. Until until we keep grandiosizing them. You know, we're at this, uh, this attitude. You know, well, it cost America $80 trillion, but if it saved one life, our shelves are still half empty. Its productivity was cut down for three years, but if it saved one life, it was all worth it. 
Really? It wasn't worth one? You know, uh, I'm sorry. That's cruel to say. I'm sorry if, if anybody lost anybody. I, I, I know how that feels, but... Uh, you know, you were given a fuel in a, in a society where victims just get pushed to the front of the line, top of the pedestal, head of the table. People like Eliza Blue will always come through. I mean, again, I can't emphasize that enough. She fooled the most brilliant man alive today. Yeah. So, what choice, what, what can the rest of us do? Well, for one, when someone changes their name six times, seven, eight, nine, ten times, you might want to look into them before you uh, make them your CEO, make them, put them in charge of Twitter, start suspending everybody else. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Speaking of twatter, sorry, I'm not on it, so I don't know. Oh, I forget these things. But yeah, I mean, this chick is backtracking. Just today, I mean, it's been going on all week, but just today, she deleted 90 of her previous tweets, including uh, an old video of her where she said some uh, minors, that's under 18 person, are, are mature and should be allowed to have sex with an adult if they want to. Or vice versa, the adult, I mean, if the kid's mature. Yeah, her words, I'm, I got to be very careful how I say that. Because I could get suspended off YouTube just for saying, repeating her words. But, yeah. And, I mean, this person got some pretty much uh, control a after the free speech reign, right? And and this girl still gets to be put in charge of twatters, who get uh, accounts of who gets suspended and who doesn't. So, anyway, I'll just leave you on that. I think it's all over for her, though. But we'll see. She could change her name another 97 times and uh, grift some more people. She's pretty good at it. She fooled Elon.